Hey guys, what's up? This is Val Cameron from GMLight. Welcome to today's video and I want to talk about the three-point light setup and when it actually fails. That's right, it's not a kind of fix-it-all, fit-it-all uh, light set. It originates from portrait photography and ideally you have three lights, which is the key light. Let me just turn off the other ones. The key light comes at an angle and accents your character, creates some depth and all that, which is really cool. Then we have the filler, which fills in the blanks. And then we have the backlight coming from behind, accenting shoulders or hair and all that. And I mean, you can get really cool renders with this when you are doing portrait renders. Problems start to happen when you have a larger set which you know, where you have more items available for instance like this right nice cool set but the three point light setup is just not enough to cover our scene suddenly it looks like a well like a horror show right it's not ugly per se but it's not really popping out of screen either right so what we do here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to something I call the seven point light setup which is my own invention and it includes additional lights. Background light, overall light, ambient light, and bounce light. And when you add them to this scenery here, the scenery suddenly starts to pop and becomes more vibrant and interesting to look at. But despite all the extra light, we're not losing touch of what's important, which is our female model. We're still having her as the main attraction of our render, while the other components of the seven point light setup contribute to the render without stealing attention, right? Another cool thing you can kind of see in, in motion here, in action, is something I call flow. And flow is the alternation between brightness and darkness. And that's carefully designed in this very image so that everything pulsates in the image. It goes bright and dark, bright and dark, and doesn't kind of go all in everywhere, right? So this is where the three-point light setup fails and what you can do about it, right? And it so happens to be the case right now that the three light, 3D light club is added as an extra bonus in our Super 3 Art Quick Start. So if lighting is your thing, and it should be your thing because it's like 90% of your art is lighting, then go ahead and check out the link below, How to Master Dash Studio. Now, don't forget you can also get our free Photo Studio, completely for free, complete with studio props, lights, a filter, and 27 minute video tutorial link below this video now as an extra bonus i just want to mention that now if i switch back to the original image we suddenly have a lot more going on here and it's i mean it's still the portrait render but it just feels so much so much more vibrant and alive having those extra lights right so if you want to you know, get your images to pop out of the screen and look more vibrant, check out the link below the video. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have fun with your art and special lighting, and I'll see you soon again.